Why would you not want to go back to the office, they say. Why would you not want to rejoin such a great culture, they ask. They are morons, but they mean well, or they are just mean without the well. Dealing with annoying co-workers in the office can indeed spawn a universe of comedic material. I think there are plenty of examples which see my point and raise my point an extra reason to work remotely. We can't ignore the annoying co-worker. I'm talking about you, Kitchen Bandit. Taking a bit of everyone's lunch from the office fridge, creating a mystery worthy of a detective novel. By Friday, they've tasted the entire menu, leaving behind a trail of mismatched Tupperware and mild resentment. Oh, you're quiet until we get the five-minute warning on our Zoom meeting? I see you, meeting extender. Known to never let a meeting end on time, this co-worker has a knack for bringing up new topics just as everyone starts to stand up. Their favorite line? Just one more thing, it'll only take a minute. Spoiler, it never does. Give my condolences to your brief breather in between meetings. The email novelist. Why say in three words what you can say in 3,000? Forget Stephen King's IT novel. This coworker sends emails so lengthy they could rival an encyclopedia. The subject matter often requires a mere yes or no answer. The personal caller. This coworker conducts their personal life on speakerphone, sharing every detail with the office. From dramatic breakups to booking a root canal, you'll know every twist and turn of their life story, whether you want to or not. If you've seen Seinfeld, there was an episode about the close talker in a game called Space Invaders. I just call this person the Space Invader. Personal space? Never heard of it. Whether it's leaning over your shoulder to see your screen or setting up their workstation on your desk, they're always uncomfortably close, sharing more than just office supplies. Come back to the office, they say. It'll be fun, they say. You know, we have conference room battles, whether on site or online. Booking a conference room feels like participating in a gladiator match. Victory goes to the swift, the bold, and those willing to passive-aggressively overwrite someone else's reservation. The Temperature Wars. The office thermostat is the epicenter of a never-ending battle between the always summer and the eternal winter factions. Meetings are less about budgets and more about negotiating a ceasefire in the climate control conflict. The mystery smells. From microwaved fish to an unidentified odor that's been lingering since Tuesday, the office is a testing ground for your olfactory limits. The quest to find the source becomes a bonding activity. Printer roulette. Using the office printer is a gamble. Will it print? Will it jam? Or will it embark on a journey of self-discovery, leaving you without your documents? Each print job is a thrilling adventure. The over-enthusiastic decorator. There's always that one coworker whose holiday spirit involves turning the office into a thematic explosion. Halloween in July, Christmas decorations that sing, their desk has it all, and then some. Be like me and find a job that requires you to stay home without any human interaction. That can be tough, so maybe learn how to gamble and just make money the old-fashioned way. Getting your ankles broken when you don't have the cash to pay up.